Right, that's the city of Kamun. I believe this is the Great Pyramid, right? I can't remember the name of the level, so don't don't crucify me because I can't remember. Let's see if I was right. Obelisk of Kamun. Well, I was close, so it doesn't matter. Your your argument's invalid. Fuck you. I'm right. You're wrong. Deal with it. Ah, oh, that was a spooky frame drop. Anyways. I like how unenthused I was. Ah, that was a spooky frame drop. I'm still trying to remember I'm playing Tomb Raider 1 and not 2. Because the movement is just different enough to where I can tell it's different and it's weirding me out. Anyways, I actually really like this level. Um, it starts off in a really cool way. Where you get to look out here and you're like, oh look, there's an obelisk. I guess that's what I'm supposed to do. And I, I like that. It's not as grandiose as you might think but the level does open up and it's really cool it's pretty much the ultimate tomb raider level i think this is what i talk about when i'm like this is the ultimate tomb raiding level it's just i think this is what i don't really like about tomb raider 2 is there's not a lot of this just me ambience not ambient and yeah just I th this is what I think of when I think of Tomb Raider. This, this, what I'm doing right here. Like, doing what the game is actually called. So, anyways, I, I just love this part. It's so fun. This is, like, my favorite level in the game, probably. If I had to... I think I may have said that the Cistern was one of my favorites. But I think Obelisk might be my favorite. Actually, Ra is a much better god card, you idiot. Obelisk, the Tormentor, is not nearly as good as you think he is. Look at those fucking dumb gu gummy teeth. That's what I think of when I think of Tomb Raider. I think of those dumb gummy teeth that every single enemy has. It's so funny to me because it looks like something like a kid would draw. It's like, how do I make it look angrier? Just give it like a big angry face. <laughs> it's so stupid. I remember my friend was watched me play this. I like how in my mind, my, my highlight playthrough of this game was with a friend like fucking 15 years ago. <laughs> Well, longer than that, actually. I don't even... Well, I'm 27, I was like 13. You can do the basic math, and I'm not going to stop you. So I'm going to save, because I just don't want to die and have to push all that shit over. It's really not fun. No thank you. Also, I forgot to mention, when you switch levels, you have to re-switch back to the Magnums. A minor complaint. Uh... Now, I believe this one has a med kit behind it. The other one has just another panther, and I'm pretty sure... Yeah, there's nothing in there. Um, but I'll kill the panther just for shits and giggles, I guess, so you know that I'm not full of shit. It should be noted, by the way, that I've played this game like ten times in my entire life. So I, th I think I'm pretty well versed in when I say, Oh yeah, like there's a thing over here, I'm pretty sure. If just because I say I'm pretty sure, I I usually mean it. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm like 99% confident. I don't think there's anything in this room though. I, I I don't think there is. At least if there's a secret in here that I just don't know exists, well I'm sorry. So I I guess I just ruined Christmas for you. I don't know, man. I'm sorry I did that, but I uh, will make it up. Also, if you can look on the walls, you can see the sign of Gordon Freeman on here too. Yeah, it's there. Just look hard. You'll find it. Anywho, um, this level also has some of the worst fucking enemy placement in a Tomb Raider game that I've played so far. And I don't mean that it's, like, difficult. I just mean it's just... The enemies are placed in such shit-tastic ways that they're going to inevitably hit you in some form or the other because they're just placed in such weird spots. You can call it, like catching the player off guard and you know you should be on guard you're raiding a tomb you're laura croft tomb raider but i feel it's a bit shitty and annoying also i'd like to point out that every single enemy in every single level in tomb raider one up until atlantis is a quadruped and bats <laughs> except in this chapter set there's none Wait, is that a med kit? Oh, fuck me. I'm gonna go get that. Wow, I didn't know that was over there. I get glimpsed out of the corner of my eye. I was like, oh, med kit, I want that. Now, I'm not saying I'm underprepared. I'm probably very well prepared for Atlantis, but you want all of your healing items for that and all your fucking magnum ammo and all your fucking Uzi ammo. This is why you've been getting secrets in the first place. Because you want to make sure you survive. Um, there is nothing more frustrating 
than getting to Atlantis and having like no healing items and no fucking ammo. You will just cringe. It will make you angry. You will bleed out your mouth and I don't know. You'll do something. I think there's a secret behind here as well. Well, it's not a secret, but I'm pretty sure it's shot shells, right? Oh, pff, whatever. It's just a snack cake. That's cool. I'm not really bothered. I don't know. Like I said, I don't really use a shotgun. But, um, yeah, the last enemies in the game are just Atlanteans. And, um, they're not very fun. I'll put it that way. So, ugh, I'm not a fan of them. It's because they explode. And, by the way, the mummy enemies also start to explode now, too. Which is odd. Because they didn't in the last level. So this section here is pretty cool. I like this little alcovey sort of thing. Oh, god damn it. The crocodiles aren't a danger, but they're just... There's a lot of items in this room that I want to pick up. So I want to make sure this fucking thing is out of my way. Oh my god. And I'm just... Again, I'm thinking of Tomb Raider 2. I'd just be able to lock onto that shit with a harpoon gun and just blow its brains out underwater. But I can't do that now, can I? I can pre Oh, fuck. I can pretend I can. I'm just gonna ignore it. I'm not really too worried about it. Okay, I say this now, and it's gonna be a huge problem in a few seconds. Just watch. I, I can feel it. it <laughs> this is the curse of when I ignore shit in video games, usually. Oh, hi. How's it going? Can we just be friends? I'll call you Wally. Your name is Wally Gator. How about that? I guess you guys get a fun story about that name. So we used to have a wiener dog when I was a kid, and um, his name was Diesel. And when I was a kid, like, younger, before my preteen years, I got this big, like, stuffed, like, really soft plush gator. And I love that fucking thing. I, I love alligators. I love reptiles and stuff. And um, I remember... Fucking hell, I just want to kill this damn alligator so bad. I'm so determined to do this, but I just don't care enough. <laughs> Anyways, so when I got older, I mean, obviously you're a kid. The, the sad part of life is you start to grow the fuck up and you stop playing with toys. And I, I was so disappointed. I'm still sad when I hear that. Like, oh, I had to get rid of my Legos. Anyways, we had this wiener dog. And so my, my mom like just decided to let the dog do whatever pretty much and he'd take the gator that this big stuffed alligator that probably weighed more than he did and he'd drag it out and drag it in front of everybody in the living room like he would you know i wanted to say it's the same noise that the fucking sharks make anyways he'd take this this stuffed alligator god damn it <laughs> I'm done. I'm done in this room. I'm fucking tired of being in here. I don't want to be in this fucking room anymore. Um, anyways, he take this alligator, um, and he just drag it out, look at everybody, and then just plow it. Like, non-stop. I don't know what- he did this all the time. I don't know- maybe it's because it was soft? But it was just so fucking awkward because he'd always do- he'd do this every time. He'd drag it out. And he'd look at us like, hey guys, look what I got. And then he'd fucking just start railing it in front of everybody. And I remember he did that in front of like our friends, my family friends or whatever. And my mom was like, oh yeah, don't worry. He does this all the time. You can't do much about it. And they just looked at her like she was crazy, which she is. So fair enough. But I, I mean, that was just so funny to me. Like the, he just had determination. Like he'd drag it all the way across the house. Just so proud as can be and just... Like, I don't know. I never saw him do it any other time. He just did it like that every time. It was fucking weird. I hated that room, by the way, if you couldn't tell. Um, so, yeah, that was a fun instance when I was a kid. Ow, fuck. That was the edge of the table. <gasps> Anyways, so this is the obelisk room. You can see there's four different glyphs. There's a scarab. <gasps> the Eye of Ra. And... An onk and something else. I can't remember what it is right this second. Anyways, there's also a door that's down here that we're trying to open where I'm swimming right now. But, you know, we'll get to that later. Um, man. I really do like this level a lot. It's just, I love this design. This big, open, like, fun. It's like, oh, alright, let's fucking, you know, crack the knuckles. Let's see if I can do it. 
Yeah, there we go. Crack knuckles, you know, let's do this. I'm so sorry if that sound grosses you out. I, I know some people are squidgy about that. I'm not, but, you know, I don't care if you are, but, you know, I'm so sorry. I'm just a raging disappointment, I know. Anyways, this whole entire section is one big fucking platforming extravaganza. And I'm not a huge fan of it, it's very iffy. So, this is also a safe spot where I'm standing, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna abuse the fuck out of it, because I don't want to be in that room. Okay, I think there's just two... Mm, I, I think. I'm pretty sure there's just two in here, there's no mummy yet. I think the mummy's upstairs, he's in a really asshole area. Um, but yeah, I love this kind of design, it's just big, fun, platformy goodness that I look for in a game like this. I also was kind of disappointed when I was a kid that this was not what I imagined the Egypt levels to look like at all. I did not expect these kind of, like, weird, brightly lit, like, blues and stuff. I didn't picture this in my head. In my mind, I was picturing something, like, dusty and scary and big and, you know, getting on top of pyramids and, ugh! But, no, not really. That's not... I'm not bummed, but I mean, I... Alright, I kind of am. But you gotta understand, as a kid, I fucking loved Egypt. It was one of my favorite things on the planet. It still is, to be honest. I actually would like to go to Egypt someday, or Cairo, or anywhere. Like, okay, the furthest I've been at this point in my life is California for like an hour, and I hated it. I hate California. <laughs> it's like one of my least favorite places on the planet. Anyways, um, <laughs> I know that sounded so hateful, but it's true, I can't stand California, it's a fucking dumpster fire to me. Oh, you can hate me all you want, but it's it's true, I, I just don't like California. It's where just all the weird is, I'm sorry, it's, I live in Oregon, we have Portland, but I don't know man, California is, is like Florida diet, it's just something about it, it's just wrong, at least to me it is, but anywho. When I was a kid, you gotta realize, this was like pre-internet days too, so you you just had to know about Egypt from like watching a documentary or god forbid some like hi historically inaccurate fucking movie or whatever. But I loved The Mummy with like Brandon Fraser and fucking Scorpion King and all that shit, dude. I, I loved it. I played the fuck out of Yu-Gi-Oh because it was Egyptian themed, like, I loved... Power Slave is one of my favorite Iron Maiden albums of all time. Probably my second favorite. Uh, my favorite after it is, uh... Ooh, this is a hard one, but... Probably Seventh Son. That's my favorite. Just out of principle, I think. So, you know, I'm not even gonna fucking bother with the shotgun. It's it's pointless. I, I hate these fucking things. There's no real strategy for these mummies, by the way. They just run around and explode so I I ain't got nothing for you man that's that's my only strategy for them they're just awful they're the worst enemy in the game anyways uh, I don't remember where that goes and I feel bad that I don't anywho let's save because I I'm gonna try and get a couple of secrets here that are actually useful to help skip the level a bit so this is the obelisk obviously and that secret will actually let me kind of sequence break this a bit so that's why I'm doing it right now I could drop down there I could also do another area as well but let's just do this part for simplicity's sake I believe in this point in the game there's also a save crystal up in this area too so save often if you're on PC but if you're on the PS1 I don't know what to tell you Godspeed man anyways you can drop down there and get a goodie and you can also jump off of here but, let's hit this switch, because this is a very important part of this level. So, these switches actually drop down the platforms that let you get those items. If you try and jump over there, you'll just fall and die and have fun. So, don't do that, obviously. <laughs> Unless you really, really want to, but I, I don't recommend it. Because, um, I don't know, why would you want to do that? I've actually seen numerous videos of people just plummeting Laura off of things, and I'm always like, why does this exist? It's just weird to me. 
Maybe somebody just really doesn't like her. Like that little joke I made a while ago. Maybe there's people that are just like, oh, I fucking hate Lara Croft. She needs to die. She's a terrible person. She's not real, but I hate her. I mean, I love... I'm going to shout out some of the stuff I actually watch in my free time, but... <laughs> like, Alpha J Show. He fucking hates Peggy Hill. Like, with this weird passion that I have never seen a person give something. And it always makes me kind of uncomfortable. <laughs> I love his videos, but Jesus, he like, he hates Peggy Hill like she's a real human and it's really weird. Like he talks about her like she's just the worst thing on the planet and it's really funny. I've met like people that watch King of the Hill and don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm like, oh, Peggy, they're like, oh yeah, she's there. She's just bitchy or something. I'm like, I guess. But, oh god damn. Don't go down there with a low amount of health, by the way. Do what I did and just play it safe. And just full heal or something before you do that drop. It's very dangerous. Alright, I'm not gonna go there. I wanna see what's over here. I think there's a... No, I'm just high. I'm high as hell. Oregon's Oregon's atmosphere is just full of marijuana, so... Clearly, I was just always high. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I just... I don't understand why people hate Peggy Hill so much. She's just... She's Peggy Hill. She's not real. What, what does she do to you, man? <laughs> like... It's like, I fucking hate the way she talks. She's just a mean bastard. Like, I don't I don't get it. Actually, no, I want to leave this switch alone. That's because this is going to control the sand in the next level area right here. And I want this, yes, I want this to be stairs. Because if it's not, I don't think I can do the next area. This part's a little fucky. I'm not really a huge fan of this. And I still feel like I don't know exactly how to do this level part. I'm being honest here, I, I genuinely don't know, so... Also, you cannot just, like... I'll show you what I mean. So if I try this right now, like... Oh god, the game <laughs> lag there for some reason. Um, you'll kind of, like, hop forward and gain a tiny bit of traction. So you can't make, like, a... You know, a big ol' fucking, like, cool-ass... Kind of jump. Yeah, it, make, it makes that sound, too. I don't know. It, it just doesn't let you do it. You advance like a half a block every time you do that too. It's a weird like mechanic in Tomb Raider 1 and I think it's also in Tomb Raider 2. Also something about Laura's skin right here looks like it's made out of fucking like latex. It's really weird. I don't know if you guys can see it but to me it looks weird. Maybe it's a lighting issue or I'm just going colorblind at the same time. I don't know. <laughs> it just looks weird. Uh, anyways. Now, I'm pretty sure in Tomb Raider 2, if I was playing that, I could also just side shimmy over there, but I, I can't do that here. So, we're just going to have to make do with what we got. So, such a shame, I know. <sighs> Different game. This is not fair. I swear to God there's a mummy in this room. Or at least this area. I know there is. It, it, it's, it's in my brain that's saying it's there. And it's, it's making me anxious. Not because it's scary, but because it's going to do a shitload of damage. That's see, There's that like side thing I was talking about. You see what I mean? I'll just bang into the wall. Anyways. Yeah, that's like in games like Amnesia where you can't fight back, it just actually ends up bugging the shit out of me. I don't think that's scary. It's just irritating. Oh, God. I don't really know how the splash damage from that works, if I'm being, like, correct here. I, I genuinely have no idea. So, be careful. That's all I can say. It's enough to get you, like, mildly fucked up, and you don't really want to be mildly fucked up in this game. Well, at least at this point in the game. Also, this looks like it's made together with linen. I don't know what this is supposed to be. I think it's supposed to be a symbol of raw, but I could be 100% wrong. Because this looks like it's made with, like, sprites. They're not made with sprites. Made like with level geometry, so I don't know. <sighs> I'm tired. I can feel my brain just starting to shut down very slowly. I don't know if you guys like that, but I do kind of. It's kind of entertaining. Well, maybe. It might bug somebody, but it, it's funny to me because I'm like, oh, it's starting to fall apart. <laughs> like, I think it's fun. I don't know. That's, But I, I don't really know how you guys enjoy it. So... Let's go over here again, and this is really awkward. I'm not actually doing that. Like, the game is just forcing my, like, angle, like, because of some weird physics thing. I don't know how it works. Like, you collide with that, like, pillar, and the game just says, okay, whatever. So, I don't know why it does that. 
Okay, so we want back down here. Actually, we could just drop down and get the key now. Oof, God, that I still get anxious dropping down here every time. So this is the tablet. This is an easy one. And the next one, I believe I could just jump right over there. Or I can walk over there. See, though, I mean, that switch doesn't really do anything, and it's kind of like annoying to me that it doesn't really actually do something. Oh boy, that room is a hellhole. Uh, I'm gonna do my best to not have to fall down there in a really bad way, but that is a fucking awful area. It has got like two mummies in it, and it's it's not fun. <laughs> it really isn't. I don't like this room very much, if I'm honest, because you have to go through it twice, and it's a little iffy to me. Oh, cup. Oh, God, I almost threw up there. That was gross. Um, ugh. Anywho. God damn it, Laura. Quit doing dump dumping dacks. Yeah, jumping jacks. I can speak today, apparently. Uh, anyways. And this is a secret as well. I don't know why this is labeled as a secret. This is a very fairly obvious area. Like, this doesn't, like, catch my eye as being hard to find. I don't... I don't know, maybe that's just me being ultra cool and being super rad and awesome, but this doesn't strike me as a very hard to find secret. <sighs> Shit, if I was a little too uncertain there, I could have probably just died. There is a distance, I haven't mentioned this yet, but there is a distance at which Laura will not grab a ledge and she'll just fucking tank it. I think it's, um... I'm trying to think of it, it's like three or something more blocks? Like away from me so like if I tried to make uh, try to gauge like see that like ledge down there I could not grab that even if I wanted to I would just die I'd let go of it and crater it's not fun I don't like this part I I don't know why it just it's really tedious oh Jesus I c I want to see if I can do that I want to show you guys this trick because you only do this like two times in the entire game so if you fall, you can do that. It's really, really jank. It looks it looks as scary as it looks. It really is. It's a very awkward movement. Um, you do that in Tomb Raider 2 a few times as well. It's one of those things that you don't realize you can do because the game never signposts that you can do it, but you can totally do it. It's just very awkward. Uh, yeah, th this is why I say this area is a little fucking gross because you... You fall down there, and you just get ganked, and it's just awful. You don't want to be in that shit, I'm serious. Now, you see that, like, I'm guessing it's supposed to be a sarcophagus or something? I don't know. That thing below me right there, you cannot land on that. You will actually fall. Like, if I fell straight on top of that, I'd actually just slide off of it. Um, and you can't jump off of it either, which also skips a bunch of platforming. So, yeah, have fun. You can't do that. <laughs> I don't know why, it's really stupid. I think it's because it's actually a sprite, and you're not supposed to be able to interact with sprites, or something like that. I, I have no idea. Like, what I'm trying to say is, from the distance I'm at right now, if I were to be able to jump on that, I would pretty much just be gold. I'd be able to jump down here. But because of the weird, fucking jank-ass Tomb Raider 1 physics, you can't do it. And it's, it's always bugged the hell out of me. So, yeah, if you fall down here, you... Alright, this is what I'm talking about. If you fall down here, you gotta go all the way around and do this whole thing again. So, don't fuck around, okay? That's, that's what I'm trying to tell you. You don't want to be down there. That place is hell. Like, that is just the worst part in the entire game. You will, You will not have a fun time if you fall down that. Um, you're probably just like, Seth, it can't be that bad. Do you want me to demonstrate it? Because I can more than easily go down there and show you how awful this room is. Uh, actually, no. I don't want to because it's terrible. I had to think about it. I'm like, do I really want to go down there and get, like, what, two kills? And that's it. I don't think there's any items over there either. It's just... It's just awful. You don't want to have to go down there. There's nothing... I don't think there's even a med kit down there in that middle section because when you jump down there, it flags those two mummies to wake up and they will bull rush towards you. And that, remember how I was saying you can't jump on that like sarcophagus? 
Yeah. Oh, fuck. No! Oh, shit! Oh, my God. I did not want to do that. Well, it looks like we're doing it. Uh... Oh, my... God damn it. You thought I was kidding when I said this was dangerous? Yeah, I can't jump around that. Oh, my God. I am fucking button mashing like crazy to get the fuck away from this mummy. Uh, I don't know what the fuck happened. <laughs> I really don't. I just fucking... I don't know. That was not cool. That's all I can say. That was horrible. Oh my god. <sighs> Anyways, if you think I was kidding about this too, watch. Okay, I was hoping that wasn't going to kill me, too. <laughs> See? She just bangs into it. Watch. If I try to land on this, right here should be enough. Nope. Too far, right? Eh? Oh, nope. Can't make that one. How about over here? Nope. Can't make that one either. And how about over here? Nope. Chuck Testa. Yeah, apparently. I don't know, you cannot land on that. See? That's what I'm trying to demonstrate. You cannot touch that. I also can't jump up it. Hear me mashing the button? Yeah, you can't do it. So, don't try it. It won't work. You also... I don't think... I think that's too high to jump up, too. Yeah, it's like just barely too high. So... Yeah, I wasn't fucking kidding when I said this area is the worst in the game. I just used, what, like, three or four medkits in this one room and, like, just got banged around all over the place? It was terrible. Like, the first time I did this, I died. I remember I got down here and I my friend was like, lol, look at that, there's like a fucking... Actually, that is way faster to get out. I guess I could have just done this the whole time. The mummies don't have a ranged attack yet. Um, so you're pretty lucky in that regard. And we pick up the scarab, so cool. Um, let's save, because I don't want to go through that shit again. Um, anyways, the last puzzle, I don't think you can... Oh my god, that... I'm like right on the edge of falling. That's some scary shit right there. Um, I don't like this level anymore. <laughs> I'm done liking it. All the nice things I said about it, I'm taking back now. Um, no, you get to go up to the top. I should have done this part first. I'm sure there's some weird, like, physics bug where you can glitch yourself into that area. You know, let's give it a shot. I want to see. Let's save, because I'm not going to take a chance. But I'm, I'm fairly confident you can actually jump over here. Yeah. See what I mean? I, I wasn't kidding. I knew you could do that. But you can't do this. That's see, You still have to do this area. There's a mummy in here as well. Come on, fucker. I know you're gonna do it. You're not fooling anybody with your tipped over chair. What are you gonna do? Actually, I know why he's doing that, because I fucked up the way you're supposed to go in here. He's supposed to spawn, like, the triggers right here, so... Oh, wow, I guess I, it, it's somewhere else. But anyways, he's supposed to trigger because of you going in the room. But I've fucked up the pathing of the game. And it just said no, basically. Yep, now he's awake. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. You have no idea how awful that enemy is until you've played the game. Because... I swear, there's no way to avoid damage on them. You can't... They're too fast. They just bang you into walls and shit. This level in particular is where it's really nasty. Um, the later encounters aren't that bad. But my goodness. Like, that is just one of the worst designs of an enemy, in my opinion. That's just so bad. I guess I could have easily just done that and then just gotten the Switch. But whatever, man. That's just inexcusably awful. I, I hate that. Like, uh, but anyways, you can see how that loops over to here. So, by magic of picking up items, you actually have activated the last area. 
So, yeah, that's that's why I said I like this level a lot. Oh my god, that was really scary. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I should have looked first. <sighs> that was a little spooky. Um, ugh, balls just went up into my mouth there for a minute. I believe there is some magnum ammo right here. Or it's not magnum ammo, is it? Oh, it is. Okay. I... <laughs> I'm still like, oh man, that was way too close. I don't like that at all. Uh, must pick up medkits after the bullshit that incurred. I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna die. I'm like 99% certain I have not wasted too much air. There's a secret in 40 Fathoms. It's the last one in the area. And it's just like so fucking tight. Like, this is how your health looks. You're gonna just like start dying if you're not careful. You won't drown outright, by the way. You'll actually, um, like, start to lose health. Wait. Do it. Yeah! That's the noise! Oh, I love it. It's fucking eerie. I like that. Anyways, that's what the mummy in Qualipex tomb does when you kill it. It's supposed to, but it didn't do it. I've heard it do it before in the PC version, so I know it's not just some, like, weird, like, exclusion thing. It's it's done that before in the past. Making damn sure, because I don't want to fuck around. This is a really nasty area. You may be like, this doesn't look that bad. It's Tomb Raider 1 jank, man. It's gonna hit me. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It didn't hit me. Nice. That's one of the first times that's ever worked. Like, I normally get hit by that fucking mummy every time. I think this is a secret, I'm pretty sure. Is this labeled? No, it's not a secret label, but it's it's secretive. How about that? If this was Serious Sam 3 or 4, it'd be a mini-secret. Yeah. I don't know why they're called mini-secrets. They should just label them as secret area. I don't know why they have to have the fucking flavor text mini. Just call it what it is, secret area. I know I'm bitching, but it's true. Also, you have seen this level before. Wait a minute. I've seen this. Oh, god damn it. There's like two of these in here, I think, right? No. I think it's just that one. I don't know. But that's part of the last level. I love this when this shit happens. It's so cool. I've done this in uh, Doom Wads as well, where I've copy-pasted level geometry from the previous ones to show you've transitioned to the next one. I like doing that. It's fun. <sighs> the little things, man. It really is. Oh, fuck. Um, it's seriously the little things in this game that make me smile. It's so basic, but when I was a kid, I was like, oh, Whoa! She can go into the next level, and it's... What if they're all connected? Uh. I don't know. That's not what I did as a kid. But, you know, still. Also, you get some spooky, cool, ominous music as well. Just so fucking cool. Now, I believe... There's extra shotgun ammo in here, right? Like, it spawns in when you come in here a second time. No? That's weird. I thought there was. Doesn't really matter. I think this area might repopulate something. I know something does in this area, but I just can't remember what. I want to find out, man. I want to know. I really want to know. I wonder if you can actually glitch and end up in those, like, weird areas that are not supposed to be accessed. Oh, I guess that's higher, so I can't do it. Never mind. It doesn't matter. I'm not really worried about it. It's like you're gonna find something cool up there, like the fucking... I don't know... Spider-Man jacking off with fucking Green Goblin. It's not like that's gonna be up there. I don't know why that was the first thing my brain defaulted to, but, uh, I'm just gonna roll with it. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyways, I'm pretty sure that the thing of Anubis there is supposed to be, like, based on the Book of the Dead. I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong, but you never know. I like how that's just Scarab. No one gives a shit. It's nothing special. It's just Scarab. I'm always curious. Are Scarabs really as dangerous as they, like, allegedly are? Because I don't believe they are. They're just bugs. Oh, the Eye of Horus. I'm so sorry. I said Ra in the last episode or something, I think. I don't remember. It was like 20 minutes ago. That's too far. I am curious if there's an extra goodie up here. I want to know. Is there? Oh, there 
decision. They were smart when they made that. And I'm mad that they were smart about it. I swear to God, if there, there has to be an item over here. No? Oh, no, I'm kind of bummed, because that's actually something I'd do. I don't know. Now I feel like I've been cheated. Oh, wait, wait a minute. I want to know. I want to know if there's a secret here, because I swear to God, the, the level ends in the next few seconds, but... I want to know. How far does that... How loud can the... Damn it! I'm fucking up the joke and the jump. Wow, that's just not cool. Let's start over. How fast can this truck really go in reverse? That's one of my favorite AVGN moments. I swear to you, I can quote, like, every AVGN episode up until, like, a certain point, but I still... Is it a mummy? Is there some, like, jump scare shit in here? No, there's nothing in here. It's just a, just disappointment and emptiness. I'm sorry. It's just like my Christmas. I guess I don't expect much, but I, I was expecting something. How about that? Also, how the fuck are these growing down here? There's no light. I'd like to point that out. Anyways, that was Obelisk. It's one of my favorite levels. Next level, we'll do uh, Tormentor uh, and maybe Ra. Who knows?